Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Training Diary. It's week three for my Lakeland 50 Training Diary. And I'm out on my long run. As you can see, we had a nice bit of snow last night and it's still going. Right guys, so I'm out on my long run, and I'm about halfway through it. Um, the same loop as normal, but obviously a little bit slower because of the snow. So what we lose out on pace, we gain back in time on our feet training. So whatever, happy either way. Right, let's go back and talk about the week because it's been another awesome week. Um, started off on Monday with some strength training. I took it a little easier than normal just because last Sunday was quite a big effort for me, slightly longer than planned. So I went a bit lighter on the strength training, um, went on the bike, did some massage and did kind of more body weight related physio stuff. So I did hip hikes, I did clamshells, I did side lion leg raises, did core stuff. I wanted to make sure that I was feeling fresh for Tuesday's hard effort. So brings me to Tuesday. Normally I train on a Tuesday morning, but um, I had to work late on Monday night, which meant I was going to be having about five hours sleep if I wanted to get up early and do this session. And to be honest, it didn't seem sensible to do the harder session of the week on quite a little amount of sleep. So I sleep in, worked, and then I went out in the afternoon after work. Um, because it was dark though, I didn't really get any footage, just a couple of photos because it was absolutely tipping it down. I got completely drenched, but a fantastic workout. So again, this is a kind of evolution of the previous week's mixture of hills and speed work. So it was four sets of a three minute hill rep and then a recovery jog back down, and then a five minute fast interval on the flat. And then obviously repeat that four times. Um, really happy because my hill reps felt easy from a kind of physical point of view. Like my legs were absolutely fine of it. They're getting stronger every week. Um, and for the fast flat bits, I'm really happy too because I didn't look at my watch throughout, but I just ran on what I consider to be a hard effort. And I had pretty even splits on all four of the intervals. And my cadence was really good as well. Quite high, 175, which is kind of around where I'm aiming for at the moment. Um, so came back in dead chef for that session, but felt it a little bit afterwards. The next morning, my calves and my right Achilles was a bit sore. so. On Wednesday, I made a conscious effort to recover by doing an hour on the bike. And then when I did my strength session, I took out some of the lower body stuff and just focused on core and upper body. Didn't want to overdo it on muscles that were already feeling a bit strained. So did that. Woke up Thursday morning feeling brilliant again. So really happy with that kind of recovery day went well. And then what did I do next? Um, on Thursday, it was a treadmill run. That was really good. Starting to feel really easy on the treadmill and starting to get a lot faster. So on Friday, I repeated a similar session to Thursday. So treadmill for an hour, but did some strides at the end. And I'm really happy because that session actually um, was one of my fastest 5K times in about a year. And that was all done at a zone two pace. Um, so really happy with that. It just shows that the work I'm doing is actually making a difference. Um, so that was Thursday, Friday. Uh, Saturday did strength training again. And this one, again, I felt great going into it. Um, and we were doing some slightly different exercises this week. One of which, which I'm dead chuffed with, was the single leg squat off the step. Um, because this is an exercise that when I was first injured back in March, 
was the most painful exercise for me to do. When even dropping about an inch or two, it was a nine or a 10 out of 10 pain. And it's the exercise we use to gauge whether I was making progress over the months. Um, and it's been, it's been a month or so since I've actually done this one, but really Chuff would be able to do 10 reps with the weight and to get down as low as I can and come back up feeling stable and feeling strong doing it and zero out of ten knee pain didn't even you know not even the, the slightest hint of anything so it just goes to show that all that hard work I did over the last nine months is actually showing some awesome results now um, and then that leads me on to today long run in the snow so it's supposed to be around two hours I'm doing the same route as I normally do which takes usually just under two hours. Um, because of the snow, I anticipate it to be a bit longer, but we will see. Um, it doesn't matter too much. Like I said, whatever I lose doing slower long runs, I gain in time on my feet. So either way, it's good. I'm just about to come down off the top of the mountain now and into the woods. It'd be so cool running through there, can't wait. And then I'm heading on home. Right, let's see you in the woods. Alright guys, slight change of plan. I'm going to turn right here, where I would normally turn left, and I'm going to run down towards my Nan's house. And I'm going to say hello to her, because I haven't seen her in, in months. Um, so I'm just going to give her a little wave on the doorstep. And then I will come back up and rejoin the trail. And then I'll take it from there, because we're going slower today. And it can't hurt to add a little bit more on because next week is also a recovery week so a lot less running probably around three hours running rather than close to six hours running um, the purpose of the recovery week is to rest up for my body to adapt and repair so that when i start again the week after the first week of my second four week block that i will be ready for the hard sessions to come. <laughs> <laughs> 